in the last couple of videos, we talked about parts of the ear, the, the inner, middle, and the outer ear. But I said that we didn't talk about one part, which was the Eustachian tube. And the Eustachian tube is what we're going to cover in this video. And when I was actually looking for these different images, I typed in something into Google Images to try to get those images. But for some reason, instead of getting Eustachian tube, I got lesbian tube images. And it was really weird because just pictures of lesbian sex all over my screen. It was completely unexpected. But um, I was lucky that my, no one was home, so that's good. But the station tube is the tube which connects the middle ear to the actual nose. right? So we've got the eardrum here, which is where air passes in, the pinna, past pinna onto the eardrum. And then um, we've got air also coming in the other way. So air comes in this way. And air comes also into the middle ear from the other side, so it pushes through the nose. This is the nose, right? Nose, when you breathe in, some of that breathing in through your nose, some of that air will also go towards your ear through the eustachian tube. And that's important, right? Because it allows equalization of pressure. I'll cover that in a second, what that means. But yeah, so it's what it does, it connects the ear to nose. That's one of its functions, right? So it connects ear to nose and allows for this pressure equalization. Because what you can imagine, and you, you will definitely have experiences in the past at some stage already, is you've got pressure coming in from the outside, from your ear towards your membrane. So this membrane, right, so if air passes in, this membrane will experience lots of pressure, high pressure from one side, which means that that membrane will be always under lots of pressure and it might bend towards this side a bit, right, because it's being pushed by this side. And usually that's not a problem at all because there's going to be equal pressure coming from the other side that will pass through this tube. This is here, this, this is the eustachian tube. I'll just say ET for short. Right. So the other side of that membrane, you're going to have your other pressure coming in and that is equalized. So equal pressure from, from the ear and the eustachian tube means that both sides have equal pressure and the membrane isn't too worried. Right? That, that tympanic membrane is fine, it's okay. But what happens if, for example, you have this being blocked. So if there is some blockage at the station tube and air can't enter from the nose into the ear. That means you only have, you don't have this pressure anymore. You don't have this pressure here. All that pressure is just coming from that one side. And what that means is it means there's a really loud truck outside. Um, what that means is now you're going to have it becoming really painful because all the pressure from one side really actually hurts your, your ear. And often when you're sick, you might have you know, your ears feeling blocked and really painful. There's that blocked feeling is when you only have pressure coming from one side, usually from the side from the ear towards the, the actual membrane. And you don't have that pressure coming from the other side or you don't have enough pressure coming from the other side because the station tube might be blocked. So maybe when you're sick, that's one example, right? And then you often you blow your nose Right? When you blow, like you, you hold your nose closed, and you blow, and you hear that pop sound, that pop. That's when you actually make sh you force air into it, and that equalization will make that membrane pop, pop back into place. Right? Beforehand, it was like this because it was being pushed, and then all of a sudden, you've got equal pressure again from the other side, and then as opposed to it being like that, it'll be like this again. This is, a, this is an exaggerated version. It won't be that extreme, but basically it'll be as it should be because of pressure on equal size and that's where you hear that pop. Right? So the station tube in summary outlined the role of the station tube, that was stop point, outlined the role of the station tube. The station tube connects the ear to nose. It's responsible for making sure that pressure is equalized because you've got pressure coming from the the ear canal towards the towards the membrane and you need to have equal pressure coming from the nose through the eustachian tube toward the other side of the membrane. Otherwise, you'd have pain and, un incom uh, and it'd be uncomfortable, right? So by having both of them have equal amounts of pressure, you have no pain and no problems. And then you could go into the example of when you're sick and one, of, one is blocked, what kind of feeling you have then. But I hope that was useful.